welcome to Tally Help videos. In this video, you will understand the process of generating e-invoice for sales of goods outside of India or export sales. Whenever you sell goods to a foreign party and export to their country, you need to generate an e-invoice for the transaction. If you have LUT bond with government, then you generate an e-invoice without the tax ledgers. With Tally Prime, you can generate the e-invoice right from the product. Moreover, you can also generate e-invoice with multi-currency whenever you create a transaction with the foreign party's currency. Before generating an e-invoice, let's see how to create a ledger for a foreign party. Press Alt G, create master, ledger and press enter. Enter the name and alias. Select the group. Enter the address. Under state, choose the place of your party. Country gets filled automatically. Enter other details and press Ctrl A to save the ledger. Now, let's generate an e-invoice for export sales to this party. Press Alt G, create voucher and press Enter. Press F8 for sales. Press F2 and enter today's date. Select the foreign party. Select the sales ledger as applicable. Select the stock items and enter quantity for the respective items. Select the IGST ledger and GST gets calculated. Set provide e-invoice details to yes. The additional details, exports, taxable, screen appears. Enter shipping bill number and date and select port code. If you do not have shipping bill number, then you can enter it later. This screen appears only in case of export sales when the party is based outside of India. Selecting port code is mandatory for e-invoice generation. Thereafter, the e-invoice detailed screen appears. Enter the bill to place and ship to place. Provide the other details as needed and press Ctrl A to save the voucher. If send e-invoice details after saving voucher is set to yes, then Tally Prime asks you if you want to send the invoice details, press Y to send. The e-invoice is generated. Press Alt G, type or select e-invoice and press enter. Press F2 to change the period if needed. You can see that the voucher is in the IRN generated from e-invoice system section. Drill down to the voucher and you can see that the acknowledgement number, acknowledgement date, and IRN are updated in the e-invoice detail screen. Press Ctrl P and then press I for preview. The QR code has got updated in the invoice. Press Escape and then press P to print the invoice if needed. Now you may want to generate an e-invoice with the currency of the foreign party. You need to ensure that the currency has the right formal name. Press Alt G. Create master, currency, enter the symbol. In the formal name field, press Alt H. Type or select the currency, select the currency name as displayed and press enter. Press Ctrl A to save the master. You are all set to generate an e-invoice with multi-currency. Press Alt G, create voucher and press enter. Press F2 and enter today's date. Select the foreign party. Select the sales ledger as applicable. Select the stock items and enter quantity and rate in foreign currency for the respective items. Select IGST ledger and the tax gets calculated. Now set provide e-invoice details to yes. The additional details exports taxable screen appears. Enter shipping bill number and date and select port code. In the e-invoice details screen, enter the bill to place and ship to place. Press Ctrl P and then press C to configure. Type show base and foreign currency for total and press enter to set it as yes. Press Ctrl A to save the setting. Now press I to see the preview. As you can see, the print has the base and foreign currency both. 
press escape and press control A to save. If send e invoice details after saving voucher is set as yes, then Tally Prime asks you if you want to send the e invoice details. Press y to send. The e invoice is generated. Now, let's see how to generate an e invoice when you have LUT bond with the government. If you have signed an LUT bond with the government, then you must have configured the company under F11 with all the details related to LUT bond. You can easily generate e invoice in Tally Prime. Press Alt G, create voucher and press enter. Select the foreign party. Select the sales ledger as applicable. Select the stock items and enter quantity and rate for the respective items. You do not need to select a tax ledger as you have signed an LUT bond with the government and configured Tally Prime with the details of the same. Now set provide e invoice details to yes. The additional details export taxable screen appears. Enter the shipping bill number and date and select port code. In the e invoice details screen, enter the bill to place and ship to place. Provide the other details as needed and press Ctrl A to save the voucher. Press Y to send the transaction for e invoicing. The e invoice is generated. Open the voucher from the e invoice report. Press Ctrl P and then press I for preview. The QR code has got updated in the invoice. You can see the declaration LUT bond details as entered by you in Tally Prime. As you saw, generating e invoice for export sales using Tally Prime is a very simple process. You can also generate e invoice for a multi currency transaction and also if you have an LUT bond with the government. Thank you. To know more about Tally Prime features, visit help.tallysolutions.com. Subscribe to the Tally Solutions channel for the latest videos.